Okay, this was a uh, <clears throat> request or a suggestion from my Discord server. So, let's check it out. Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up? It's your boy Ty X Worldwide. Now check this out. I'm digging the energy. I was dealing with this chick about a couple years ago, right? And she was playing games. Like, I kept trying to make things happen. She was always playing games, give me the runaround. So I said, yo, it is what it is. And I just went on about my life. Now, I get a message from her back in January talking about you grew up. Sheesh. And yeah, they always come back. They always come back around when you are improved. The new and improved Inspector Gadget, yo. <laughs> they, come, they come for you. Look. A lot of the times they get to the point where they're like, uh, he's a loser. I don't want him, whatever. And then you, there was that streamer It happened to that streamer. What was his name? I can't remember. Maybe you guys was well, someone, somebody will remember in the comments. There was that streamer. He was, uh, he was live and his ex-girlfriend messaged him on the fucking stream. And he's like, yo, you, we haven't been together for like X amount of time. And she's like, yeah. So he's like, fuck you. <laughs> like, that's that's what they do. They come back around when you when you know when you you grew up. Sheesh, right? I said thanks, lol. And then just recently, a couple days ago, she just messaged me talking about some. What's your number? See what happened was I started better in my life. Mm. Preach. See, I, I grew up from where I was a couple years ago. I started, you know. Oh, you guys can't see that. I'm sorry. I was covering that fucking message the whole time. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let me just move my. There we go. Getting in better shape. I started, I started leveling up. And now she's trying to creep back in. See, that's what happens when you ignore them. When they, they try to creep back in your life. And what happened? I said, thanks, LOL. And, and boom. I ain't say nothing else. And what happened? Couple months later, she slide right back. What's your number? She tried to say, you know what? Let's stop playing games. What's your number? I want your number. I want to get back in your life. I, I'm tired of playing games. Matter of fact, I, 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 I want to get. I, I, want, I want it now. See, when back then I had no leverage. I had no leverage. I wasn't in shape. I was a regular average dude back then. I like that he said the word leverage. Now I know it's a dumbass word to get caught up on, but look, think about it. A lot of guys message me when we're doing coaching. And they'll say, how can I, how can I get my ex back in this way? What can I do in this? And I'm like, you guys, I say this to them that you have no, what's your leverage? What, what, where, where, what power move do you think you have? What, where do you think that you can come from that? She's going to go, man, you know what? Fuck shit. And that's why that's where the self works. See, once we diagnose the issue, whether it's in, uh, uh, insecurity, complacency, whatever, right? It's usually what it is. It's one of those two things. See, in the amount of times I hear from guys, oh, I've lost 40 pounds since the breakup. I've done this since the breakup. Started focusing on my business since the breakup, which is all shit you should have done when you're in the relationship. See, guys get so fucking relationship focused that they forget about themselves. And then they don't even know who they are. So if you don't know who you are, how the fuck is she going to know who you are? That's what I'm saying. So he worked on himself, got himself in good shape, Clearly. And now she wants back. And this is what you guys all want. All of you guys want the same thing, which is the ability to say, fuck you to your ex, which I get. But the reason why I talk about letting go the, the, the Sedona method is yes, you want to men have some fucking egos, man. Holy shit. So many dudes have ego and they can't see they don't want to see the forest to the trees they just want to live in this fantasy land and that's what letting go and focusing on that shit is all about it's all about focusing on what what's going to move the needle forward in your life saying fuck you to your ex will feel good for about a day maybe two days i've been able to do that i have been able to do that and i promise you i'm telling you from fucking experience Look, see, human beings are retroactive in nature. We learn through pain. You can learn proactively too. That means, you know, if you don't want a heart attack, don't eat McDonald's. If you, you know, don't want lung cancer, don't smoke cigarettes. That's the idea. Learn proactively through when people give you advice. So I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. It, it, 
it, in the end, the only thing that matters is what he's talking about is the personal growth and self-development, the, the emotional work, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I'm pointing you in the direction of what I think you should do with your emotions and your centers and getting yourself emotionally centered so that when you meet somebody new and you go back out into the world, you can focus at your your newfound knowledge that you write in the books and you can get your uh, emotional self-control in a place where you're like, okay, I'm cool. I'm not worried because so many of you jump into a new relationship right after. Oh my God, I just met this new girl, but I want my ex. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Like, yeah, of co it's cool to see a girl and maybe, you know, but it's only going to make you feel good for again, a night or two. Yeah, maybe you like a little bit of attention. That's what I mean. We need to be better. We, us men need to be better. Practice emotional self-control. Practice discipline. I wasn't on my grind. I ain't know my worth. I ain't know myself like that. But now, <laughs> she's like, oh, snap, this dude leveled up. So, oh, let me hurry up. Oh, you grew up? She's, yeah, I grew up. See, I was young and dumb back then. But now, she's like, oh, you grew up. That's what I'm trying to tell you young guys out there. Get on your grind, bro. Stop chasing these women. Because trust me, bro, they, they watching. They watching. Mm -hmm. They are watching you. If you think these women are not watching, they are watching you. They watching to see, is he, is, is he going to level up? Or did I make the right decision? I'm going to say that one more time. She's watching to make sure, see, is he going to level up? Or did I make the right decision? I don't think y'all caught what I just said when I said that, though. So I'm going to say it one more time. I'm watching him to see if he's going to level up or did I make the right decision. Because she made the right decision, that means you failed. That means you, you, you still where you was when she left you. So she made the right decision. But she watches if you level up so she can hurry up and try to come back. He reminds me of Tupac. See, she made a mistake. She's like, oh, this was the dude. Oh, I, I, uh. See, she thought like the rest of them dudes. That, 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 that proved her point. Her little beta male orbit. No. I leveled up. I started getting on my grind, started focusing on me. Now she focused on me. And I still ain't message her back. All up on me. She went liking all my pictures. Like, she's thirsty. Thirsty. She's thirsty. See, when I was thirsty, she wasn't trying to give me no water to drink. She wasn't give me no Gatorade. She didn't give me no orange juice, no apple juice, no pineapple juice. She wasn't trying to give me no type of juice. If I was in the room with her, I'd be like, nothing! I'd just, I'd, I would just feed him. I'd feed off of the energy that he is, he's giving off, man. And uh, no, but see, this is why you need to feed yourself. See, fellas, again, I like, I, I like, that's why I like doing these reactions because, because it gives me these like hits, right? So when a guy gets relationship focused, he's looking to quench his thirst from her instead of his life. And women quench their thirst from you. And they're being taught through toxic feminism and that woke shit that they should be men, that they should focus on their grind, be a boss bitch, right? But it's not true. It's not true. No water, no nothing. Now she's thirsty. No, she, she's trying hard to drink my, my sperm. That's what she want to drink. She want to drink my sperm. Why? Because I ignore it. That's why I tell you guys, ignore these women. Give them no content. They play any games with you, you, you adios. Get back to your grind. Because they're going to come back, bro. I don't know how many videos I got to do like this of showing y'all. They come back. They come. They, this is this inevitable. Bro, he's right. They come back. They do. When you grow up, right? It doesn't mean that, yo, like some of the guys that come to me, they're like in their 30s and 40s. It doesn't mean that you're not grown up. It just means that sometimes you are still too a little, you're, you're a little relationship focused or not a little, a lot. And it just means you guys have to chill and stay focused on being better versions of you. I've saw, I've, uh, some guys that are in their like late 40s, early 50s have this mentality 
that they have to pedestalize women. I've had that a lot lately. I don't know what it is. I don't know what water they're drinking, but they need again. And, and I've talked to a couple guys and they don't, they don't want to take the pill yet. Right. But it is what it is. It's, it's enough. They're going to come back. And the only thing they ain't watching, because look, look, we ain't even following each other. I'm not following her, and she's not following me, but she's following me, if you know what I mean. See, she's not following me on Instagram, but she's watching me. I keep telling you, just because a woman ain't following you on Instagram, or just because she ain't texting you or calling you, does not mean she ain't keeping tabs on you. I say this all the time. Just because she's not, you, you don't see that she ain't watching you, or guys, these women... This this is this this is how they survive, bro. This is how they this is how women survive. This is their survival mechanism. They gotta do these little. They gotta go. They, they investigate. This, this they are investigators. This is how they survive in this world. They gotta investigate. They all gotta do these little things. She's watching me. She's been watching me all these years. Just watching, watching, watching. She's like, let me get ahead and strike now while I ain't hot. You know what? It's true because when they're lying in bed at night, right? They're lying in bed at night. They're not doing anything. Their man's at work or sleeping and she's bored. I wonder what he's up to. What has he been doing? Oh, he got in good shape. Oh, he's making money. He's driving this nice car. Shit, did I fuck up? Just like he said earlier. And this is what happens. When you start knowing these women, you don't get better options than the one that was playing games with you. This is what I tell you guys, but rejection is the best thing for you. Oh, you wanna play games? Oh, okay, bet. Bye. Oh, you wanna play games? Bye. That's how you gotta be. Don't, don't give them no pass. Don't give them no pass. Don't, don't negotiate with them. Don't try to talk nothing up. Just show with your actions. This is what I tell you guys, stop doing all this tongue wrestling with these women. Try to talk yourself up. Don't even say nothing. You just show them with your actions. Oh, baby, you want to play with me? All right, I'm going to show you how I get down. That's great advice. I still got women to this day who play games with me. Who play games with me. I'm like, oh, I want to play games. I right, bet on my grind. I'm going to show you that I'm the best option you ever had. You got to show her. Make her a believer. Go above and beyond to show, yeah. And you, and guys, this is going to be the best feeling when you get to look at these women that rejected you. And you get the rejection. You get you get the power to say, should I deal with you? Should I even give you the time of day? It's gonna feel good when you do that, bro. That's the best, guys. That's the best feeling. For two days. Again, I've been there. I've done that. He's right, but it's and it does give you something to aim for. It does feel good, but it doesn't feel good for that long. Okay, it really doesn't. Just stay focused before I continue. Just stay focused because once you get it, it's kind of like, it's kind of like when you, when you, when you've wanted something for so long and you finally get it and you realize it wasn't really all it was painted up to be again, it does feel good to reject her. It does, but it doesn't last. And a lot of guys, maybe they don't care, right? Maybe they don't care if it's not, they just want to feel it. But I'm just telling you from experience. It doesn't last. That's the best feeling when you have that power to look at them. Like, yeah, I got the power now. I got the juice like Tupac. What's up? See, <laughs> I swear he reminds me of Tupac. But um, and the thing is, too, in my experience, when I had that power, I was already seeing new girls. What's up? I'm telling you, bro, this is, I, bro I feel good doing this. I see it all the time. Women keep rejecting me in the past. Oh, you got my Instagram. And I get their Instagram, right? And I, and I hit them with the reverse Uno card. <laughs> Think I'm gonna give them no attention and all that stuff. No. <laughs> then they see me on my, on my grind, getting better every day. Every time they see me on Instagram, I look better and better and better and better. And it eats them up inside. They like, Ugh. It's like, it's like they on steroids. It's like they on type, some type of steroid. That's how, that, that's, that's how, they get so frustrated. It's like, yo, he didn't play the, he, 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 didn't, he didn't go for the, you know, I thought he was going to be stupid and dumb and naive, but he ain't. 
So they just keep watching, hating. I keep telling them they be hating, bro. I, they, listen here, bro. You know that song about 50 Cent in the game? Hey, they love it. Mm -hmm. That's how it is. They either going to hate you or love you. When you ignore them. See, Hate it or love it. Down the dogs on top. And I'm going to shine, homie, until my heart stop. When, they, they, when you ignore them, they going to hate it because they're like, yo, man. He, he ain't playing. He, he ain't playing my game. He, he ain't doing this. But that's good though, cause the hate is really, you know, the love in disguise. In disguise. But if they love it, they're gonna try. Oh, he ignore me. I'm, I'm gonna try to get him now. Come on. This is what I tell you guys. Ignore them. They, they, they do. I told you, bro. I'm at the point in my life. You, you, bro. You even. I, I can't explain it, bro. Cause you even. You even. Think like you even, you even. I don't even know, bro. I can't, I can't even come up with something. That's how bad it is. You even, if I even sense, if I even sit, matter of fact, I don't even operate on feelings. You know how I feel about operating on feelings, but on this one, this is how it is. If I even feel a girl playing games with me, you're getting cut off. If I even feel a girl even. Messing with me, bullcrapping with me, you're getting If I even feel she's about to flake, if I even feel she's about to do, if I, if I, if, if it is what it is, but I'm done. Because I'm, bro, they said these, these women, these women know what they be doing, bro. They want to test, you, you test the right one. You test the right one. You test, you tell one of these little baby males, you got the right one. Test me, shorty. I don't play games. I don't play games, I will ignore you. Cause guess what, you making my life easy. You making me make time for things I could be doing. I'm not about to sit up here and waste time to play a game. This is why a lot of these women be single. And this is why, they, this is why because they wanna keep playing these games and, and have all these betting mail over it. Instead of just saying, you know what, let me get on this guy's program and rock with this dude. But no, they wanna play games and manipulate you and play little goofy games. And this is why they end up old and single and alone and miserable. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. This is why they be getting frustrated. Well, we're all the good. We're all the good guys. We're all the guys they taking. Or they not worried about you. Or they got multiple options. You should have had me when you had the chance, but it's too late. Y'all want to keep playing these games and keep... Hey, it is what it is. That's what I say, guys. Ignore them. She give you any... Ignore, ignore them. She give you any, any bull, bull crap, uh, any excuse, just ignore them. That's what I say to my coaching students. Right? Just have a next mentality. Next. Don't care. Next. Don't focus on it. I'm telling you right now, bro. When you start doing that, you will see, whoa, better options, better opportunities for you. It is what it is, bro. And I'm telling you right now, that, and I'm going to keep on doing these type of videos that showing you proof of how women, that, this is how they are, bro. Point blank, period. It is what it is. It's your boy, Ty X Worldwide, man. Hope you get the message in this video. Just like all my videos, there is a message in here. Y'all already know what to do, man. Like, comment, subscribe. He's intense, but you know what? I fuck with it. You know what it is, man? It's just, it's different because everyone else in like, it's just so many dudes are so timid and, and, and slow and calm, you know, and sometimes it's okay. Like the coach, like coach Lee, for example, he's calm and collected and whatever, but this is the opposite. And I think this, the, the way he is, is um a nice it's gonna speak to a lot of people a lot of dudes okay because it's a very you know with that masculine energy is coming out and i'm digging it i like it good message coaching's down below i'll see you guys in the next video done